our colourful garden. Deepak and Sumati like to grow plants. So each of them planted a flowering plant in their garden. They used to go to school only after watering their plants. Once they went to their grandparents' house to enjoy the village fair for a weekend. When they came back, they were shocked to see their plants withering away. Deepak felt very sad and asked his father, Why have these plants dried up? His father replied, No one watered the plants in our absence. That is the reason, Deepak. Sumati had something to ask. Will plants die if we don't pour water? Yes, of course, came the reply. Father, plants don't have mouth. How do they drink water? asked Deepak. Father answered with a smile. We drink water through our mouth. The plants absorb water through their roots. Plants absorb minerals also along with water. They supply water to all parts of the plant through the stem. It helps in the growth of the plant. Sumati asked her father, What does the root look like? Father uprooted a grass and started describing it. The root The part of the plant found below the soil is the root system. It firmly fixes the plant to the soil. Plants absorb the minerals needed for growth from the soil along with water. Certain plants store food in their roots. Sumati uprooted a Lucas Tumbai plant. She found the root of Tumbai different from the root of grass. Why is this root different? asked Sumati. Father explained the difference. The root of grass belongs to the fibrous root system. It arises from the base of the stem as a bunch. But Tumbai root is different. It belongs to the tap root system. In the tap root system, the main root goes deep into the soil to fix the plant firmly in the soil. Fibrous root system. It is found as a cluster at the bottom of the plant. It is not rooted deep in the soil. Tap root system In this type, the main root grows like a nail. It is rooted deep in the soil. Deepak asked his father, the carrot is also found under the soil. Is it a root? Yes, some plants store food in their root, answered his father. Plants that store food in their roots are radish, carrot and beetroot. Deepak and Sumati were thrilled to know about the roots. They wanted to know about the other parts of the plant as well. Their father started explaining about the stem, leaf, fruits and seeds. 
Look children, I am going to show you the different parts of the plant. This is the root. This is the stem. This is the leaf. This is the fruit. This is the flower. Let me explain about the parts in detail. The stem. The stem is the part of the plant seen above the soil. It holds the leaves, the flowers and the fruits. The leaves grow from its nodes. Certain stems are found below the soil and help in the storage of food. Example for such a plant is turmeric. Plants that store food in their stems are turmeric, potato and ginger. The leaf. Different plants have leaves of different shapes and colors. Leaves are of two types. The simple leaf and the compound leaf. Leaves have chlorophyll. It helps the plant to prepare its own food. Flower The most beautiful part of the plant is the flower. Flowers are also of different shapes and colors. Some are even multicolored. The fruit. Flowers turn into fruits. Fruits differ in their color, shape, taste and smell. Seeds are found inside the fruits. There may be one or many seeds. Seeds also differ in their shape nature and texture. A baby plant arises from the seed. Water plants Some plants adapt themselves to live in water. They either float on or remain submerged in the water. They have short roots. They have cavities in the stem and leaves to float. Stomata are small holes on the leaf surface which help in transpiration. They also help them adapt to live in water. Take a glass jar Pour water into it. And drop few drops of ink into the jar. Now place a rooted tumbai plant in the bottle. Observe the plant after a while. You can see that the blue water has been transported to other parts through the stem.